Hello and welcome to The Softer Side. I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. Today we're going to be talking about something that is hidden deep inside each one of us. Thank you for watching The Softer Side Storytelling Therapy and Life Coaching. Please leave a comment and let me know your biggest challenge when it comes to stress relief and what topics you would like to see in the future. Subscribe and click on the bell to be front row center for new videos. Join us in the friendly, supportive live chat room for our live coaching videos and share the Softer Side channel with your friends and family members who need to reduce the stress and anxiety in their lives. So on the Softer Side, we're going to start a new series of recorded videos that will be showing us a premiere so that it allows people who are watching it for the first time to come together in the chat room if they choose to do so. The storytelling therapy videos will capitalize on telling a story that will also offer some coaching to those who are watching. Um, it, when you use storytelling as a therapy practice, it helps people to relax to be entertained and to determine for themselves how that story resonates with them or their current situation. The storytelling therapy also uh, encourages imagination, creativity. Um, people can access their intuition and become more peaceful. They can be open to new ideas and beliefs, and it can help them to solve problems more easily. Um, and the reason that I wanted to start this type of a series in my life coaching practice is because stress is such a problem for people nowadays. It's, um, it's a very prevalent part of our lives and it can cause a lot of problems for us. Um, chronic stress causes 77% of people to regularly experience physical symptoms. Uh, they might get hives or uh, they might their skin might break out or get eczema. They might put on weight or lose weight. They might not be able to sleep well. Um, it's just a lot of trouble for them. And they can also have 73% of people experience psychological symptoms, which could be, um, you know, that, that spinning cycle that's in your head that just won't go away, uh, fear or anxiety. 33% of people feel that they're living under extreme stress. 48% say that their stress has increased over the past five years, and 48% also report the inability to fall asleep. They report insomnia, so they're having a lot of difficulty with that. And I'm hoping that this series will be relaxing, calming, and helping people to open up to uh, be new beliefs, new ways of living that are going to give them access to more inner peace. The listener, um, the people who watch the stories, can enter into what is like a mini trance. It's human nature to want to listen to a story. And uh, when a story is being told, we jump into paying attention to the story and we leave behind all of our fears and worries and doubts and things that are going on in our minds. We let that go for a while so we can pay attention to the story. And we begin to identify with the elements in the story. Who is the hero? That that sounds like me. I did that. I've done that. I would like to do that. That hero is learning some great lessons. I can learn along with that hero. Uh, we can identify with the situation. Oh, that's a terrible situation. I thought my situation was bad, but that's even worse. Or I've hit, I've experienced things like that, so I, I know where they're coming from and, and what they're going through. We want to identify with the hero in the story. And it helps us to become open to changing our beliefs through what is known as an epiphany bridge. An epiphany bridge is basically this hero is going through a series of actions that lead them to a climax where they experience an epiphany and they change, right? That's 
that's what most stories are about. The hero is going through a series of events that lead them to an internal, if not external, change. Um, and that bridges over to us. We, see, we identify with that hero in that situation. At that climax, we see what they experience and how they've changed, and it allows us to make that change as well. Um, it helps us to access our imagination, creativity, and intuition, as well as our ingenuity, and helps us to come up with new ideas. It sparks these ideas um, of how we can solve our own problems. And these are the reasons that I'm bringing storytelling therapy to the softer side. It, is, it combines escape with release from stress. It offers a community connection if you show up during the uh, the live portion or when the chat room is open or even when you comment afterwards or if you come and join us in the community through esofterside.com. Uh, we're going to be talking about life coaching themes, basically things that help us to develop further in our lives to uh, get rid of beliefs that were blocking us, our, our obstacles, our past patterns that keep us from moving forward, and um, offers us valuable insights and problem-solving skills. And it's also a peaceful and meditative practice. So if you want to watch these stories before going to sleep at night, it can help you to calm down and uh, release your worries from the day so that you can sleep better. So let's take a look at um, getting into our story. We're going to start with a quote uh, from the I Ching Book of Changes. Let's see, let's go to the slide. And here we see the Book of Changes says, Passion and reason cannot exist side by side. Now let's talk about what that means with the commentary from Wu Wei. He says, when anger, lust, hatred, or love consumes you, clear rational thinking is impossible. It is only when you are able calmly to step back from yourself and look in on yourself that true detachment is achieved, which then permits rational thinking. And that's from Wu Wei. So what we're learning is that we need to detach, observe, end the spin cycle to decrease resistance. So what we're learning from this is that we want to be in observer mode. If we're feeling very stressed, angry, frustrated, upset, it's best to, at that point, take a step back, breathe, and become the observer you know we want to say what's going on here well i seem to be very upset you know and you start listing off your feelings i feel upset i feel angry i feel frustrated um, what is going on that's making me feel those things maybe it's my thoughts about the situation uh, what are my thoughts that are making me feel this way? So when we take that step back and start to observe ourselves and what we're doing, it begins to uh, take away the intensity of the feelings. It reduces that level of stress and becomes more logical and we can think in a more logical fashion and in that spin cycle of I'm mad or I'm unhappy or I'm upset or I'm sad or whatever your feeling is and not being able to get out of it. When we take that step back and observe, we decrease the resistance of fighting those feelings. Our next slide. Uh, we are going to tell a story now. This is an old Sioux legend and it's about the creator the creator one day came down to the world and gathered up all of the animals and the animals listened to the creator as he spoke to them and he told the animals i want to hide something from the humans something that i don't want them to see until they're ready to see it 
Well, the animals gave that quite a bit of thought. And then the eagle spoke up and said to the creator, Give it to me. I will take it to the highest mountain in all the land. And the creator thought for a moment and said to the eagle, But I believe that the humans will be conquering the mountain soon, and they will find it before they're ready. Then the salmon spoke up and said, I will take it. I will hide it at the very bottom of the ocean. And the creator said, People are explorers at heart, and I know that they will eventually make it to the bottom of the ocean to find it there. The bison said, I will take it and bury it in the very heart of the great plains. And the creator thought for a moment. Well, that made sense, but he spoke to the bison and said, I know that they will tear at the skin of the earth and find it there. So the animals all had to think some more. And they grew very quiet in their thoughts as they tried to come up with an idea of where to hide this special thing the Creator wanted to hide. Then the blind mole spoke up and said, Why don't you put it inside them? That's the very last place they'll look. The Creator answered, It is done. So what do you think? What did the Creator put inside of the people? What power is inside of you waiting to be discovered? What results do you want to create? What thoughts would make you feel happy and confident? So what did you think of that story? When we look inside, we take that time, we can find so much power and belief in there. And when we don't take the time and we just live in our patterns, we don't see it. So I believe it's important that we take the time for ourselves to meditate and to think and to examine what's going on inside each, our, our minds and what's going on inside our hearts and our spirit. And that's where we're going to find that power that the Creator put in each one of us. Well, I hope that that is inspiring for you and that you take the time this week to focus on your thoughts, to meditate, to breathe, and to relax, and to see what power lies within you and what you can do for the world in a very positive way with that power. Thank you so much for watching today. and. I look forward to seeing you again soon. And for the softer side storytelling, therapy, and life coaching, I'm Shelley Carney. I want to share with you an amazing free mini course I've developed for my subscribers to reduce stress and achieve inner peace. This mini course provides tips, exercises, and guided meditations to further enhance relaxation and bring calm to a frazzled life. Simply visit eSofterSide.com to get your free mini course. And while you're there, you can also schedule a free coaching call with me to address your personal needs when it comes to releasing pain and achieving happiness. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace be with you. Namaste.